Hey everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the default theme on your PrestaShop to a custom theme. Uh, right now I have PrestaShop version 1.5 installed uh, so we're going to begin by uh, uh, downloading a theme. Uh, in my case I uh, found a free theme because I needed something that I can um, install just for demonstration purposes and I managed to find this free theme at leotheme.com and uh, they basically have just one uh, free theme available for PrestaShop version 1.5 so I'm going to download this theme and um, I'm going to download this uh, a file because uh, this quick start file basically includes all of the PrestaShop installation files and if I uh, install with this package it will basically overwrite uh, my PrestaShop store so I'm just going to download the theme uh, file itself and um, after you've downloaded you will need uh, to somehow get the files over to the server um, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either use your hosting control panel or you can use uh, an FTP client or you can use uh, web development applications such as uh, Dreamweaver. In this video I will be using FileZilla uh, which uh, can be found, it's a free FTP client. It can be found at FileZilla-project.org and you click on the download FileZilla client link and then you choose your operating system in my case it's Mac in your case it might be Linux or Windows and you install this program and then you connect to your server and basically upload the files to it through this uh, FTP client of course if you have a control panel with your hosting account you can use uh, um, FTP file manager if they have one um, in my case I use GoDaddy and I do have an FTP file manager but I have decided to use FileZilla so that it's uh, a more uh, a general tutorial this way uh, you don't get lost while I show you instructions that are uh, specifically uh, used with uh, GoDaddy so as you can see here I, my homepage screenshot is of Magento because I installed Magento in my last tutorial uh, but right now I do have PrestaShop installed uh, so if I were to uh, upload files through the GoDaddy FTP file manager I would click on FTP file manager and then I would just uh, upload the folder as I w would in um, this uh, FileZilla program but uh, right now we're going to go with FileZilla so to do this I will need my uh, server details my IP address in particular so that I can um, log in with FileZilla. As you can see I have already pasted uh, this IP address into the host field earlier and um, my username uh, password I typed it in. Uh, in your case uh, this is the username and password that you um, created when you set up your hosting account or in some cases the host uh, auto generates this information for you and then sends it via an email so you will want to locate this information and log in. Um, in my case I have uh, just logged in so I have my uh, installation of my theme uh, already downloaded. Um, okay so there are a couple of ways that you can install um, a theme. Uh, one way is to upload the files uh, to your server manually. Uh, this particular file though, and I'm going to show you why I say this in just a minute, it looks like it can be installed via the Press the Shop modules um, installation um, page here. But when I tried to install it, what it did is uh, it basically uh, moved the, um, the modules folder from within this installation file to the wrong location so I will not be uploading this way. Instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually upload um, the folders and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about because in this particular case uh, leotheme.com doesn't just include uh, a theme it also includes some modules. So if, you, if your theme has modules included you will want to upload these modules. Um, again, it all depends on uh, the theme that you're installing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up open up this uh, zip file so that I can show you what 
is uh, in it. So what we will do is uh, we will unzip it. With Windows, you might um, need to do this in some different way by right-clicking and unzipping, or I don't know how it works. It's been a while since I've used the Windows computer. Um, so I have uh, extracted my files here. And now I'm going to go within this folder. And as you can see, I have a themes folder and I have a modules folder. And I also have a config file. This config file it was the part that... Uh, I believe was um, created so that you can install all this stuff through the um, control panel in the Press the Shop Admin section here. But for some strange reason, when I tried uploading this zip file, it moved the, the folders to the wrong location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all this information manually. Now I'm going to show you um, in FileZilla, I uh, logged in and this is my uh, Press the Shop. These are my Press the Shop folders and files, right? So as you can see in um, this Press the Shop installation, I have a Themes folder, and I also have a Modules folder. Now, in this um, installation file that I have from leotheme.com, uh, you will see that I also have a Modules folder and a Themes folder. Basically, what I will do is I will uh, upload the folders from within the Themes folder to my Press the Shop uh, Themes folder. And I will also upload the folders from within the Modules folder to the Press the Shop Modules uh, folder. And I will do this right now by uh, locating these folders on my local computer. And that's in um, Downloads. So here I have my uh, Leo um, Sports Shoes uh, folder, right? and I click on this and as you can see I have modules and themes so right here in uh, my Presta Shop installation I have modules and themes so I'm going to first upload the modules uh, files and uh, actually the folders from within the modules folder here and now within this folder I have um, other folders uh, these folders have to be uh, uploaded to the modules directory now keep in mind if in your installation you do not have a modules directory, you do not need to worry about this step. You just have to go to the next step, which is uploading uh, uh, files uh, and folders from within the themes uh, folder here. But for those of you that do have modules that uh, came uh, with the theme, um, you'll want to upload the folders from within the modules directory here to the modules directory on your server. Uh, this is my uh, Press the Shop uh, installation files and folders, and I locate the modules folder here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload all these folders to the modules uh, folder. So I'm going to highlight all of these, and I'm going to right click and left click on upload. And these will get uh, uploaded now to the modules directory. So I will pause this video while this finishes uploading. Okay, so uh, my folders have been uploaded. And now I'm going to upload uh, the folders from within the themes uh, directory here over to the themes directory on my uh, remote site here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I went back to the uh, root um, folder here and I'm locating the themes directory which is located right here and I make sure that it's uh, highlighted properly because if not uh, these folders might get uploaded to your root directory so make sure that the folders are being uploaded to the correct directory which is the themes directory and um, so I locate my Leo shoes uh, folder and I upload it to the themes directory uh, notice that it within my themes directory and uh, on my uh, server here I have a uh, default folder. That default folder contains the files for my uh, default theme, the theme that actually came with uh, the Presta Shop installation, which is this theme right here. Uh, so I will leave that intact. Uh, keep in mind that if uh, the new theme that you're uploading uh, also has a directory that's named default, that it will overwrite um, your current theme. So you will want to look into that. Um, and make sure that it's not named the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, right-click on the Leo Shoes directory 
and I'm going to left click on upload and it will begin uploading to my themes directory so I'm going to pause this video while uh, this completes okay so my files and folders have been uploaded and now I'm going to go into my PrestaShop uh, admin panel and uh, before I uh, activate any of these modules that I uploaded what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my theme from the default theme that I currently have to the new theme and you will notice that when I do this there will be uh, some errors for example uh, my images won't work and there's a good reason for this and uh, I might as well explain this now before I actually activate the theme it's because uh, the name of the image uh, files actually uh, the thumbnails they uh, differ from the name of the thumbnail uh, images in the new theme and I have turned off uh, SEO friendly URLs so that I can actually see the real name of the of the images which in this case uh, the stock images are named um, uh, this particular image is named large underscore default uh, dot jpg right um, when, with uh, the new theme that I'm installing um, the image names are actually just large dot jpg so I'm going to show you how to make uh, your images compatible if you run into any of these problems so if you have SEO URLs already um, enabled you're going to want to go to preferences and then down to SEO and URLs here and click on this and just turn off um, friendly URLs just for a little bit while we actually check the name of the images so you're going to want to make sure that uh, friendly URL um, radio button is on no um, and click on save so now we go to um, preferences and we go to themes and now you will see that I have the Leo uh, shoes directory and right beneath uh, the default directory and right here on the bottom you will see uh, the thumbnails of my uh, themes uh, in this particular case uh, Leo shoes didn't uh, upload a screenshot that actually uh, shows the the way the his theme looks uh, he just uploaded the regular screenshot from the default theme uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just looking at the name of the theme and I'm going to click the radio icon here and I'm going to make sure that my new theme is uh, highlighted and I'm going to click save and once I do this I'm going to check the front end and right here you will see that the theme um, has indeed changed and amazingly um, enough uh, the images actually worked this time around um, last time they didn't work properly um, wow they actually uh, switched it around uh, uh, properly I'm actually surprised um, it might be due to the files and folders from the modules uh, directories that I uploaded um, if for some reason your images do not work uh, what you will want to do is you will want to go into your PrestaShop admin panel you will want to go to preferences and images click on images and the name of these um, thumbnails right here you're going to want to make them compatible with the name of uh, the thumbnails uh, that you have um, on your PrestaShop and you can check this name by just looking at uh, what it's called for example this is a uh, large .jpg. Um, this one is medium .jpg. So you can automatically assume that the only difference is uh, the underscore default has been removed. So what you will want to do is you will want to um, edit these names by clicking this icon, um, changing this from small underscore default dot jpg to just small and then uh, click save and you will want to do that for all of the images here you will want to remove the default the underscore default and click save and then after you do that you will want to go down here to where it says regenerate thumbnails and click the regenerate thumbnails button uh, so that the thumbnails are regenerated and um, what that basically does is it writes uh, the new thumbnails with uh, uh, these new names that you um, enter here 
into the preferences section. Um, so basically that's that. I have my theme installed. Now I'm going to go and uh, look into uh, what those modules that I just uploaded do. And I'm going to uh, click on modules. And now I'm going to locate uh, those modules. I don't know under... I assume it's under un other modules. Let's see. Yeah, and here they are. Uh, none of them are installed. So I have no idea. Oh, actually, change theme color, advanced footer module, um, LOF custom, manufacturers, uh, scroll, products, new products module, social share module. So I'm just going to install all of them and um, see what I can. Uh, well, that's weird. Okay. Let's see what they actually do. And that's that. They all have been um, installed here. So let's see. Oh, this is pretty cool. Let's just first see what actually changed. Okay, there are the social buttons. Very cool. This for some reason, I don't know what this image is supposed to be about. It's not working though. Oh, it's because I probably don't have... Uh, oh, it looks like they left... Uh, they left some images uh, improperly created. And as you can see, we can change the template width, we can uh, change the font, we can uh, change the layout direction, the skin, let's see if I change it to uh, blue, what happens. And pretty cool, it's blue now. Also, if you had um, SEO-friendly URLs, don't forget to turn them back on if you did turn them off. So I'm going to turn them on. Okay, very nice, very nice. Everything seems good. All right, so that's that. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial videos.